What's up guys? Nice man here. So, I finally got me a Nintendo Switch. Been wanting to get one really since day one. Which was four years ago at this point, right? Holy shit. But nonetheless, the reason why I didn't get one when they first come out was because I wanted them to have the digital arcade on them where you could play N64 games or GameCube games where you could download that shit. The Nintendo Wii had that. The Wii U had that. Why the fuck won't the Switch have that? But nonetheless, they didn't announce a digital arcade. So my speculation was, oh, they're going to make a classic N64 console and they're going to release it the end of this year, the end of next year. That's why they don't want us to download all the N64 games on the Switch. But apparently that theory was bullshit. Because here we are, four years later, and there still hasn't been a classic N64 system. Let alone any mention of one or a classic GameCube system. All right. Now, I spoil it much of a game, right? I play Diablo, obviously. A lot of Diablo. Little bit of World of Warcraft. Sorry, Mud. I know we was dueling shit. And I actually have another dueling video I'm gonna probably post of Mud and I when we were level 24. Apparently, he's level 30-something now. And my character's still level 34. So, I ain't gonna be dueling that motherfucker. He's gonna beat my fucking ass. And I don't know, man. Uh, I mean, I'll play a little bit more while coming up, but kind of looking forward to Project Diablo 2 Season 3 <clears throat> and Diablo 2 Resurrected, of course. I mean, goddamn, I hope they hope they tweak up that Sorceress, the Amazon, and the Assassin. Make them a little less butch, you know what I mean? Thin them out a little bit. A little thick is okay, but not too thick, and they're all too fucking thick right now. Soften them edges on the face, you know, things like that. Just minute details. But, I mean, even outside of that, you know, I'll play a barbarian or something, I don't give a fuck. I'll play the, the droid or the paladin. But anyway, so yeah, play a little bit of those. And I always like Zelda, all right? Because I like the Ocarina of Time Zelda. And I like the Skyrim game as well. And I'll, I'll get the Elder Scrolls Six when that comes out. But dog, I really like the Ocarina of Time. And I don't know if it's just because I was a little duck in those days. And it was like, uh, it was adventurous and you got a good sense of progression and all that. And you're a hero. And you grew up in shit. You know what I mean? I thought that was interesting how you would grow up and you'd see how everything changed in the past. And you were stronger, more able. And your quest, of course, was to save the famine. So that was all appealing. You know, I found all that shit alluring in those days. And of course, there was some linearness to it, where you knew what you had to do. You got to go to the forest temple. You got to conquer it. You got to get to Gandalf. You got to defeat him. You got to save the famine. You know, it was very, it was pretty straightforward. There was some openness to it, but it wasn't just completely open and you didn't know what the fuck to do from the beginning onward. Like there's Breath of the Wild, for example. And I kind of want to play it. I've played it in the past, about probably 40 minutes worth of gameplay. I just couldn't get into it, man. I don't know if I just don't have the patience anymore or what. When the Wii came out, I actually purchased the Wii on the first day of release, which I think is why I knew better not to purchase the Switch right away. I purchased the Wii, and I purchased Twilight Princess, and I couldn't get into that shit. I put an hour into it, I was like, fuck this, I'm not even into this game. To be honest with you guys, I was chasing women in those days. All right, so I think I had other things on my mind. In a consensual manner, of course, metaphorically speaking. But nonetheless, dog, I don't know if that's what it was or what. 
where I just couldn't get immersed in a fucking game. Because then I tried it again. You know, I even bought a flat TV to play the Wii on. Because I got the component cables for it so I could have the wide HD image. Like, I wanted the, uh, the full experience. No compromises to play this new Zelda game that apparently was the sequel to Ocarina of Time. So I start playing it again, right? A couple days later. Spent all this fucking money on the Wii and the Zelda game. I was like, I better play this shit. So I started playing it again. You gotta turn into the wolf. You're the wolf, you don't have your shield. You don't have your sword. You don't have your arsenal of weapons that I think make the Zelda games epic. You don't have any of that shit. You can just swap with your paw and spin around. So you gotta get through the wolf parts because there's parts in the game they make you be the wolf. That's the only way you can you can progress in the game is by being the wolf and you can't turn into Link anytime you want. You're just the fucking wolf. And I like wolves, right? I got a German Shepherd. She's She's a beautiful dog. I'd consider getting another one, but they're a lot of work. But I mean, I didn't want to play as the wolf in the Zelda game is the thing. I like using the sword, the boomerang, the bow. You bust your ass collecting these items. And all of a sudden you can't use any of them? And you gotta like swing the controller to spin around? It was very unoptimal. You know, I, the motion controls were fucking bullshit for a Zelda game. You know, they're okay in some aspects, but when you want to play a precision-based game, there are too many variables, man, with the motion controls. Too many things that can go wrong. Too many subtle nuances and shit that the sensors don't always pick up on. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's more luck involved and stuff like that. But I don't think that's what it was either. I think it was primarily, I just didn't have the patience to get into a new game. But I don't know, maybe that Twilight Princess wasn't all uh, what it was thought to be. Have you guys played it? Let me know in the comments below. Because that's another thing, is when this Switch came out, I was like, well, hell, I never completed the Twilight Princess. I never even played the Wind Waker. I didn't play Skyward Sword. No more than 10 minutes worth. So when this Switch comes out, maybe they'll have the virtual console and I can download all these games and play them when I get around to it. But that was never announced. Now, finally, apparently Skyward Sword is coming out in a month or two. I think it's in July? So in like a month, man, this game's coming out. Skyward Sword. HD or whatnot that was released on the Wii U. So, I don't know, I might give that a shot, but let me know in the comments below if you guys uh, have played any of these games mentioned, because I would like to try them again. But all this is basically reasoning why I ended up not getting the Switch when it came out. And the Breath of the Wild, it's just a big ass open world, right? Do you ever know what the fuck you're supposed to be doing? Like, I don't know if I have time just to run around in some animated woods and just fuck around and cook shit. I kind of like knowing you got to kill this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like you get that, that constant sense of progression and success. If you're defeating shit in tears and killing the bosses and shit like that. So I don't know how much I'd be into a Breath of the Toad, but I might give it a shot. Problem is I gotta, game's like 45 bucks, right? I'd hate to buy that shit and playing it is just a chore. And then I give up after only two hours worth of gameplay, it might happen. That's why I'll probably buy the physical copy so I can at least sell that shit and hopefully get most of my money back. Not all of it, of course, but maybe, maybe most of it. Especially if I can get a good deal on it somewhere. But listen, the reason why I got the Switch primarily was to play Smash Bros. I think that's a fun as fuck game. 
Smash Bros. And maybe, uh, I also bought it with the anticipation that soon I'll be able to get Ocarina of Time on it and Twilight Princess, maybe Wind Waker. Maybe a couple of them games, because I haven't played the Wind Whacker either. And I know you sail around on a boat and shit, and there's been a uh, HD1 release for the Wii U. And I have a Wii U, and that's why I haven't sold the Wii U. Because I know that this Switch shit doesn't have the virtual console. But I always wanted a Nintendo console that does it all. PlayStation has backward compatibility, right? The Xbox One, the Xbox 360, all those had backward compatibility to some extent. So why the fuck doesn't the Nintendo Switch have the backward compatibility? And I know it doesn't have a disk drive. I mean, shit, you should be able to buy one and hook it up to the fucking thing and then play games in it that way. If it's GameCube games and Wii games and Wii U games and all that, but it doesn't have that. But that's why it, it makes sense. Have a virtual console. You know... Maybe they'll have one eventually, I don't know. But I'm going to show you guys this shit. And here's the thing, it came with Animal Crossing? That just came with it. Like, I'm going to try to trade this game off, because I think you just... You just make a... You, you clean your house and shit in this game? Is that what you do? You tidy things up, then you... You make a little garden and shit? I don't know, but I, I don't feel like doing that in some game. You know what I mean? I want to go kill shit. So I don't have any interest in playing this game. So basically I have a Switch and I don't have any games on it. They have Turok that you can download for 10 bucks right now. But I'm, I'm a cheap motherfucker, so I don't even know if I want to do that. I, I played Turok and I beat it back when I was a duck. But I do wonder, is that game, was that really good? Like, it's kind of fucked up, that game. It's just kind of depressing and gritty and shit. Bunch of nasty shit in it. So I just don't know if, uh, if that would actually be a, like, rewarding process to play through Turok and beat it. I might just feel like shit after playing that game for a couple hours. I'm not sure. But I was thinking about getting it. You know, it's ten bucks. But, again, I'm, I'm, I'm a cheap ass, so I don't really know if I'm going to do it. What I want is that uh, that Mario All-Stars that has Mario 64, because I beat that. Basically, the last time I ever beat any games is back when I was a little duck and I had an N64. Because I even got a GameCube. In fact, I got the GameCube, I think, the day of release as well. And I got Rogue Squadron with it, and I beat that. And that was kind of rewarding, and I thought the graphics and the soundtrack was awesome. And of course, that was the first Nintendo system that took discs. So with discs, to my understanding, they could fit a lot more like audio data on the discs. So generally, like with the PlayStation, you'd have great audio. And you'd have music and shit, whereas the N64, you'd have more of the repetitive bleeping bloop tracks and stuff like that. You know, it wasn't as good for like dynamic sounds and all that. But of course the N64 had its benefits in other ways, some epic games for it. Because I beat GoldenEye, I beat, I think I even beat that Donkey Kong game and Banjo-Kazooie. But primarily I liked Mario 64, I played Turok, Ocarina of Time, epic game, man. I would love to play that shit again, I don't know why the fuck they didn't remake that game yet. They need to remaster it, and I know they remastered it for the DS, but I don't want to play it on a tiny screen. I have. Pretty good sized TV. I have a 7.1 surround system, even though the Switch I think is compatible with uh, 5.1, but that's fine. 5.1 surround sound. You know, I don't want to play it on a tiny little screen with shitty audio. I mean, but release that on the digital arcade for the Switch. The Ocarina of Time slight remaster, because I think they just upped the uh, the resolution a little bit or something made it widescreen. I think that's all they did. <clears throat> like it definitely wasn't a true remaster, but but even with that, I'd, I'd, I'd love it if we could download that on the Switch. But you can't, so I, I'm waiting for a good Ocarina of Time remaster. All right, or just re-release on the Switch. I don't give a fuck. 
even if it's just basic like the N64, I'd play that. But let me show you guys this thing. So I got it for, I got this for uh, 300, no, $230 flat, all right? It was like new. The guy said he bought it to play Animal Crossing. He said he barely played it, and then he just let it sit. See? I'm just looking at the, uh, the game catalog. Let me show you guys this thing. So yeah, um, $300 or $230. So I figure I could sell that Animal Crossing game, maybe profit like 35 bucks. So I got a Switch for about $195, all right? Let me show you guys this thing. Let me know if you guys have a Switch. And if, uh, if so, like what games do you, do you like on it? So you check that shit out. Yeah, it's all right. I, I, I think I'll primarily play it hooked up to the TV. But let me know in the comments. What are your like top three uh, Switch games that you think I should try out? All right. And I might update you guys if I try a game on here. I think I'm gonna buy Smash Bros. And uh, I might try that Mario game if I could borrow it from someone. Mario Odyssey. And I'm thinking about trying that Breath of the Wild game. Just give it a shot. Yeah. If you guys will though like the damn video, hit the thumbs up button. Become a patron if you want. Thank you for supporting the Ice Boy. Peace be with you.